Welcome to the channel. My name is Grizzy and today we have a brand new Apex Legends Season 12 tier list. This video will help you to decide who to play and which character to focus on this season. This video will also help to educate you exactly how to counter and react to various other legends in the game. We have a whopping 20 whole legends to cover from worst to best. So let's get going and I'm going to try to make things clear and concise. First up, we have Mirage. Mirage has a fun kit that allows him to send a decoy out and control it and his ultimate ability spawns a lot of those decoys in an area around him while granting him a very brief period of invisibility. This character can be a lot of fun to play and has some cool outplay potential. However, Mirage lacks some team utility other than that ability to go invisible while reviving teammates. Also, with being an offensive legend, his deceptive practices don't really make up for his complete lack of mobility. Some players can overcome his weaknesses with some skill, but the majority of teams will find that he's better used for some well-earned laughs than maxing out the potential of the team composition. I have Mirage rated as a B- tier legend. Next up, let's talk Rampart. Rampart did receive a large buff in Season 10, where she can now carry her minigun and utilize it more in fights. Although this was a solid buff for the legend, Respawn put a legend into the mix this season that directly counters Rampart's mainstay ability. Her amped walls provide extra cover and some improved damage when firing through them, while her passive makes her extra lethal with LMGs. Although she can now carry around Sheila, it does slow her down significantly and good opponents can easily outflank her. Because of the introduction of Maggie, I have Rampart rated as a B- tier legend in Season 12. Bangalore, a legend that has been quite popular since the release of Apex Legends, is next up on my tier list. Although Bangalore hasn't had many changes herself recently, Apex the game continues to add legends like Fuse, Seer, Crypto, Bloodhound, and even Maggie now, who can directly counter her smoke. These legends can detect Bangalore, and it is also difficult to know when your opponent has a digital threat sight that will directly counter your smoke ability. Bangalore is a solid overall legend and can be played pretty well at a high level due to her passive double time, but she takes a dip as a B- legend in Season 12 due to all those revealing legends in the game now. Moving on from Bangalore, we have Lifeline. Lifeline was one of the most sought after characters in the game due to her ultimate, which spawns a care package filled with high tier loot like purple shields and attachments and also due to her fast heals passive. However, as other characters have brought much more to the table, Lifeline has lost a lot of her appeal. Her healing drone can be nice in a pinch and her hands off res can get teammates up while you keep fighting, but neither make her a necessary addition to the team, especially when Gibraltar seems to be more rounded and he's also very good with revives and other utility. Lifeline is a B tier legend in season 12. Next up, Watson finds her way to B tier on this tier list. After her season 11 buff, Watson has gone from a lower tier legend to a decent B tier pick for those who enjoy locking down areas. Her fences can be used to create havoc for aggressive teams trying to push in on her, while her ultimate is a pylon that recharges shields and destroys incoming ordnance, reducing the ability for other squads to repel her team from their location. Still, despite her usefulness, Watson requires a lot of setup time to create a meaningful stronghold and doesn't offer much in the way of offense. Thus, she doesn't land in a must-have category for most teams. Now, Revenant is a mixed bag of good and bad abilities. His double speed crouching is excellent for sneaking up on teams, his ability to climb structures can be used to make some cool plays, and his tactical ability is a great silence that keeps enemies from using their own abilities. Sadly, his ultimate, a totem which teleports you back to it upon taking some damage, feels weaker and the totem has a large effect once you place it down. Now, this will allow for teams to prepare for your offensive push. Rev is a B tier legend in Season 12. Now a legend with a major change in Season 12 is Caustic. Previously I had Caustic as an A tier, however now he finds himself in B tier. Caustic is known for his gas and that is best showcased with his ultimate which can be great for pushing teams out of cover or giving cover for heals and revives. His Season 12 nerf now allows players to destroy his gas traps even after they've gone off, making him a bit less effective at the kind of long-term area denial that has always defined Caustic. 
His biggest downside is that he has to fight in close quarters to reach his potential and he has a very large hitbox which makes him a liability out in open spaces. For now, Caustic is a pretty average mediocre pick for most teams. Seer started off strong upon release, but a series of nerfs have landed this recon-focused character in B tier. Seer's ability to see the heartbeats of enemies can be useful to him in some situations, and his tactical can be used to disrupt enemies who are healing or reviving. Sadly, his ultimate is a little situational where many teams know to crouch to avoid detection, or they can try to easily destroy it at the center of the sphere. As it stands, Bloodhound is just simply the better recon legend to make Seer a worthwhile pick for most players. Moving on from our B tier legends, we're going to now go into the B plus tier legends in the game for season 12. Starting out in B plus tier, we have Fuse. Fuse can bring some seriously obnoxious area denial with his cluster bombs, especially considering how quickly they recharge. The fact that Fuse can stack extra grenades in his bag is severely underrated as you can spam arc stars indoors to totally shut down teams. His ultimate fares slightly better by trapping enemies in a circle of fire, but it's pretty easy to escape for many legends. But now Fuse, if played correctly, can be a solid pick and is a B plus tier legend. Next up in this tier, we have Loba. Loba is a valuable asset for any team looking to stay stocked up with loot. Her passive lets her to see purple items through walls and inside bins, and her ultimate ability lays down a shop that allows her and her teammates to sort through all nearby loot for up to two items each and as much ammo as they can carry. Her tactical ability, a bracelet that can be thrown and teleported to, can be used to great effect when trying to escape. She's not at the very top since she doesn't bring as much to a fight, but there's something to be said about having your team looted up for encounters with enemy teams. Season 12's buff for Recon Specialist Crypto has taken him from arguably the worst character to pick to a very solid Recon legend in the game. If you're looking for a legend who can be useful in both aggressive and passive situations, Crypto could be the main for you. His original kit remains intact, including the ability to manually fly his drone in first person and use an EMP stun blast that does 50 damage to enemy shields. But he received a new feature that allows him to throw his drone in a line of sight and scans enemies along the way. The drone can now even connect to walls for long-term recon. With these new upgrades, he's finally a decent pick for most team compositions, though he remains a weaker overall option than Bloodhound. You really have to play to crypto strength to really make him a great legend. I am here as B plus tier, but hey, this legend could be great if your team is willing to work with him and kind of play that crypto gameplay. Our newest legend added to the roster is a solid pick in the Apex games. Mad Maggie has come out of the gates swinging with a strong kit that makes her a valuable pick for nearly any team. Her passive lets her briefly scan enemies after doing damage, but it makes her move faster with shotguns as well. Her tactical ability does damage through obstacles to flush enemies out of position, while her ultimate provides speed boost pads and explodes on enemies for a little bit of damage and disorientation. Mad Maggie can be a meta legend for the time being and is an excellent alternative to other aggressive legends like Wraith, Bloodhound, and Octane. Ash is still new among the Apex Legends roster, but she's already proven herself a strong contender. Her tactical ability can be tremendously helpful at blocking doors and slowing people down, though aiming it at further range is not recommended. Her ultimate being able to warp to new locations quickly makes her an outstanding option for those who enjoy flanking, and then lastly being able to track players death boxes across the map can help you to make better rotations. Ash is simply deadly in the right hands and is a B plus tier legend in season 12 but I can arguably see her being higher in the A tier as well. Before we get into some of the most powerful legends in the Apex games, if you're enjoying the video and want to see more content like this, make sure you like the video so you can help out the channel. I would greatly appreciate it and also consider subscribing to stay up to date with all of my Apex Legends content. I'm going to have a bunch of content for season 12 that's going to really help you out as a player. With that being said, let's get into those A tier legends. First up, we have Horizon, and she's an effective movement legend that benefits players who can make the most of her passive and tactical ability. 
The players who really know how to move and utilize her abilities, especially on PC with mouse and keyboard, have an absolutely insane movement with Horizon. Her tactical can help her entire team take height, and her ultimate ability is solid for area denial and in close quarters. For those sacrificing, you know, just a decent ultimate in favor of fantastic mobility, Horizon is a solid A tier pick. Pathfinder has always been a favorite among mobility focused players. His grapple is one of the game's most versatile movement abilities that rewards high skill plays with phenomenal payoffs. Meanwhile, his ultimate can be used to get him and his teammates to new areas often and especially helpful for crossing horizontal gaps. His passive, which merely recharges his ultimate when using recon beacons, is pretty pointless overall, but that doesn't stop Pathfinder from being an A-tier legend in the right hands. Wraith's tactical and ultimate abilities offer some serious mobility and utility. The former is easily one of the game's best abilities, granting her invulnerability and a 30% speed boost to help her to reset fights that haven't gone her way. Her portal can be used to reposition herself and her teammates when they find themselves pinned down or in a bad situation, and when you put all this together, it's hard to nail down and kill a good Wraith, and she remains as a top tier legend in Season 12. Good Octane players can be a wonderful asset to their teams, as his tactical ability allows him near constant extra speed to help him reach fights or reposition rapidly. Of course, it does come with the cost of a good chunk of his health, but this health will slowly replenish with his passive ability. His ultimate tosses out a jump pad that the team can bounce on to gain height or cross large gaps, and it can be used very often since it recharges quickly. With that kind of speed and utility, Octane is one of the best picks for fast and twitchy players and is an A tier legend this season. Now lastly, we have the three best legends in the game. Be ready to fight these legends often and know their abilities well. Bloodhound consistently ranks among the most used characters and boasts an incredible win rate. This is due to their strong abilities, the best of which is a tactical that scans enemies through walls to reveal their location to all teammates. Additionally, they can track the location of enemies on the ground to find engagements, and their ultimate speeds them up and grants them quicker recharge time on their tactical ability. There simply isn't a better recon character to have in Apex Legends. Furthermore, defensive powerhouse Gibraltar is a force to be reckoned with. His gun shield allows him to block some enemy gunfire, which effectively adds 50 extra points to his health. Meanwhile, his deployable bubbles is one of the best abilities in the game, shielding teammates for revives, healing, or repositioning for 12 seconds. Now that's before we talk about his ultimate that rains down giant, giant missiles on enemy teams for big damage and area denial. Once you add in the fact that he takes 15% less damage from all gunfire, it's clear that Gibraltar is a beast and an S tier legend this season. Last but not least, we have Valkyrie. Valkyrie's movement is unmatched thanks to her jetpack, which allows her to reposition frequently and reach heights with a consistency that no other legend could dream of due to that mobility being linked to her passive. Being able to use her ultimate to redeploy to a new area is immensely helpful for rotations, and it has the added bonus of showing you where enemies are in the open. Her tactical offers a large area of effect that stuns and damages enemies, making her great for getting someone out from behind cover. In other words, this jetpack master is the whole package and one of the best meta characters in the game right now, so give Valka a try if you're looking for an incredible movement and repositioning legend for your team. Now those are all the legends in Apex Season 12 ranked from worst to best. This is solely my opinion, so make sure you comment yours below and let me know how you would change this list. Again, consider subscribing to catch all my other upcoming Season 12 videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm Grizzy, and I'm out. Peace.